This uh, body armour was developed for um, forces, uh, marine based, anything to do with water basically, whether it be fresh water or uh, you know, in the marine environment. Uh, so the naval, um, security, um, police, um, any security forces. Um, so it's a tactical armour. Uh, we have a MOLLE interface on the front and the back that provides modularity to put pouches on in any configuration that you want. Um, on the rear it has a grab handle so in any situation where you need to extract the casualty you can do so. It's adjustable on each side um, so it fits various different people, different sizes, who have diff you know, it's adjustable within each size. That full interface is available for all pouches. That's the primary use. Secondary, should the casualty be shot or injured and falls into the water, we have uh, a buoyant, uh, an inflatable stall which is automatically triggered or is uh, manually triggered. The armour increases to the capacity of the size of the inflatable. This particular version, which is, this has got 275 newtons of force inside the inflatable. The body armour weighs four kilograms. You put the ballistic plates in it. It then weighs another, well, it depends on the plates, but you know, another four kilograms. Uh, so you're looking at eight kilograms for the vest, you're looking at the weight of the body, the saturated clothing they'll be wearing. Magazines, they work, a magazine is a kilogram each, a radio, all this different equipment that you're carrying adds up. You need that kind of weight force to keep afloat. Okay. One of the main features of this um, vest is that the inflatable is self-writing so when the casualty or conscious soldier falls into the water it actually self-writes therefore the airways are clear of the water and you can continue to breathe conscious or unconscious.